hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to power diodes so in the previous video we discussed about uh, the uh, biasing of diodes and the voltage and current relationship in case of forward and reverse biasing mode okay so in this video we are going to discuss about another important uh, concept related to diodes which is the reverse recovery okay diode reverse recovery okay so in the previous video uh, we discussed that when the diode is connected in forward biased mode in that case in case of normal diodes the current increase is first exponential and then linear as per the Shockley diode equation and in case of uh, power diodes because of the presence of the n minus layer the extra n minus layer which separates it from the normal pn junction diode which contributes to significant ohmic resistance and because it handles high magnitude current because of that the exponential portion is absent in uh, power diodes and it is almost it is a linear shape okay so here as you can see in case of normal diodes it is uh, exponential in case of power diodes it is almost linear okay so the reverse recovery uh, concept it comes into play when when the diode is disconnected from the forward biased mode okay the diode is disconnected so now the forward current of the diode it falls to zero but even when the forward current falls to zero or reduces to zero the diode still keeps conducting in the reverse direction okay even when the forward current reduces to zero but still the diode keeps conducting in the reverse direction in the opposite direction it is because of the charges stored in this depletion layer the space charge region so it is because of this even when the forward current reduces to zero the diode keeps conducting in the opposite reverse direction as a result of this a reverse current flows for a time interval which is called as reverse recovery time t subscript rr and the diode stops conducting and regains its blocking capa uh, capability that is it turns off when this reverse current falls to zero okay so we can uh, understand this from this uh, figure so here the forward current it starts to drop until this point when it becomes zero so from this point when the forward current it reduces to zero the diode starts conducting in the reverse direction it is because of the charges stored in the depletion layer so it keeps conducting it reaches a maximum value in the reverse direction which is called as IRM and then it starts to drop from this point in the reverse direction it reduces to zero so this whole region this highlighted region okay this is called as the reverse recovery of the diode and it keeps conducting for the duration TRR which consists of two parts ta and tb so t is the time during which the diode current it starts to increase from zero up to the maximum value in the reverse direction and tb is the time during which the current falls to 25 percent or 1 by 4 of its peak value in the reverse direction okay from irm to 1 by 4 of IRM so IRM is the 
maximum value of the diode current in the reverse direction during the reverse recovery so ta and tb these are the two important things now the highlighted portion as uh, we can say it represents the stored charge in the depletion layer which is also called as the rigor reverse recovery charge okay and it is given by the expression qr is equal to 1 by 2 irm into trr assuming a uh, almost triangular shape we calculate it by calculating the area under the highlighted region which is one half uh, irm into trr okay now uh, the reverse recovery charge is removed during the recovery time when the diode starts uh, conducting in the reverse direction so this is the stored charge the reverse recovery time trr it is given by 2qr by di by dt to the power 1 by 2 where uh, di the current i the rate of change of current in the reverse direction di by dt it represents the rate of change of current in the reverse direction the reverse current uh, change now the peak reverse recovery current irm it is given by the expression 2qr di by dt whole to the power 1 by 2 okay essentially which is root over okay so there is another important parameter which is involved uh, related to the operation of the diodes which is the softness factor or s factor which is the ratio between tb and ta so here again tb is the time during which the current falls from the reverse peak value to 25 percent of the reverse peak value irm to 1 by 4 irm that is tb and ta is the time during which the diode current increases from zero to reverse uh, maximum value in the reverse direction during the reverse recovery 0 to irm that is ta irm to 1 by 4 irm that is tb softness factor is the ratio between tb and ta so it is a measure of the voltage transients that uh, occur during the recovery time of the diode and uh, a diode with softness factor equal to 1 it is called as the soft recovery diode and that with less than equal to one is called as snappy recovery diode so softness factor equals to one it means that tb and ta they are equal only then softness factor will be equal to one tb and ta is equal to one it means that the time for during which the uh, diode current it uh, increased from zero to irm in the reverse direction it is same as the time during which the diode current it fell from the peak reverse value irm to 25 percent of irm ta and tb are equal only then the softness factor is equal to one softness factor lesser than equal to one it means that tb is less as compared to ta okay tb is less as compared to ta it means that the time during which the current it uh, increased from zero to irm is higher as compared to the time during which the current fell from irm to one by four irm so all of these uh, factors they contribute an important role okay so the soft recovery diode and snappy recovery diode we have okay so you can uh, see that tb uh, is essentially how quickly the diode current it falls from the peak value in the reverse direction to zero okay it is a significant it is a, it basically represents that and ta is the time which represents how quickly the diode current increases from zero to that in the reverse direction during the reverse recovery the maximum value irm 
okay so these two parts of the re reverse recovery time they contribute to the softness factor okay so the reverse recovery is uh, one of the important characteristics for the selection of diodes for uh, power electronic circuits so we will discuss it how this reverse rec recovery ac affects the operation of the power electronic circuits when we'll discuss those circuits in detail now uh, there is no need other otherwise it will only create confusion so this is an important concept uh, which i wanted to discuss the reverse recovery of the diode okay so this is uh, all about diode reverse recovery so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much